Hey, what's going on guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to what could be the coolest event we've ever had in NHL. I love this idea. It's super cool. And what it is, is the fantasy hockey event. You can see the cards that we have this week. There will be more cards next week. They include James Neal, Chris Letang, Shea Weber, Ryan Johansson, Jimmy Howard, Seth Jones, Tara Vine, and Barbashev, Krejci. We have some crazy, crazy cards and it's really exciting. You see a 72 Hall. You're like, why is Hall 72? You can also see some rookie cards that are awesome. Every time they score a goal this year, they go up one overall. This is essentially the new Evo, except they get rewarded for every game. If they win a game as a goalie, they go up one overall, and for every goal they score, they go up one overall. This is awesome. Now, the AHL does not count. So if you get Zadina, and he scores like 40 goals in the AHL, he won't go up, and I'm sorry. It's only the NHL, the SHL, and the Liga. Now, I already did a bunch of stuff on stream. I don't wanna, I don't wanna bore you with a bunch of highlights. I did pull the Krejci, which is awesome. We also got uh, Nylander and Natchez. Now, an easy way to get a free one of these is to do your hut challenges. Because every day, a new challenge will be released, and you do these fantasy hockey collectibles. It's very easy challenges. You get them all, you trade them in for a gold collectible. Now, when you get a gold collectible, you get a rookie choice pack. So that's any of these guys right here. Now, I got Nylander. I think he's the best option. I also could have gotten Yoko Haru, who is very, very good. Um, but I do think Nylander is the best option, as he might be playing with Patty Kane, which anyone playing with Kane is probably going to score some goals, right? Now, before I continue on this video, I do not know about CS rewards. I didn't get mine for one of them, but I got the other one, and I did get my squad battle rewards. If you haven't gotten them yet, they will be there. Just be patient. I just want to point that out. As for the sets that you can do, you can trade in 50 players for a gold collectible. You can do six gold collectibles for a 33% chance of the player. 16 gold collectibles for a one in three chance, which is massive, very expensive, but it could be worth it. 18 gold collectibles for a Ilya Kovalchuk. The card art is amazing. However, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. Now, if he scores 20 goals or 19 goals, I guess, He'll be 99 overall, so think of it like that. You can also trade in, like I said, those collectibles, your fantasy collectibles for a gold collectible. You need 10 of them. And last but not least, the one that I talked about, your gold collectible to rookie fantasy hockey player. On top of that, there's also new packs in the store. The first one being a 70k pack that you can only buy one time. You're limited one per event, it says right there. So one time you can open this pack and you're guaranteed a gold collectible and you're guaranteed, you're guaranteed one of those new fantasy cards. Now I believe it's a prospect player only. I believe that doesn't mean that you can't get other ones as well. We also have a 18K pack, a very strange number for a pack. You get 25 items, at least 10 players, six gold guaranteed with a 73% chance of getting an 80 plus, 2% of icon and gold collectibles. So, what we're gonna do here today is open up some packs because, I mean, it's a new event. Of course, we're gonna open up some packs. You want to skip this one to start it off. I see nothing. However, remember, a lot of these players are lower overall. You might pull them even though you don't see anything up top. So far, I'm gonna say probably not. Prob probably not, yeah, that was an awful pack. Okay, great. Now, in my personal opinion, this might be the coolest event EA's ever done. And I know for sure, I'm gonna hang on to these cards for as long as I can as they could potentially all become 99s. Tatar, good to see ya, buddy. I have your jersey behind me. Hopefully uh, you have a good year. Man, these packs, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I only had a couple good packs on stream. I pulled the Stamkos, I pulled the Barkov, I pulled the Hall, but I didn't pull anything like outstanding. So hopefully in this video, I can turn it around and get something good, you know? Come on. McDermott, good to see ya. Come on, please. Beautiful jersey. I actually own one now, thanks to the jersey finder. Shout out to him. Come on. Game. Don't do not do me dirty. I need to pull something big here. Who did we pull? It was Barkov on stream. That was the purple. We only got one purple all stream. You get a Charlie Coyle there, but he doesn't go for much. But we did get one purple. That's it. Only one. I need more than that. We're going to open up a couple more packs here. Just have a good time. Relax. It's a Friday night. I had the best stream of my life, and now I pulled a Ryan Ellis, the former Spitfire. Doesn't go for anything. If you were like 10 overall higher, I'd be freaking out. Braden Shen, 82. New high pull for the video. Can we get an 83 as well? Please? 
81, 82, 83, then an 84. I'll be happy with just the 83. That's a nice jersey, by the way. I love it. Something about it I just really like. Rough. I also forgot to mention, sorry, there are new prime times out. We pulled Ethan Bear about seven times today. We also pulled Yurko. There's also a Lundquist, a Rasmussen, and a Mantha. I would love to get my hands on that Mantha. I've seen him score some sick goals over the last week, so hopefully uh, he keeps that up. He's honestly looking really, really good. We will do another one of these Fantasy Hockey Ultra Packs, whatever they're called. Hopefully get something good. I think I'm losing my voice here, boys. Give me a reason to yell really loud. James Neal has one, but I didn't get him. Come on. Suter's not bad. 94? That's got to be a sign, right? We pulled number 94. I'm Thrash 94 game. No. That's nothing, EA. You're just toying with me? Okay. Anything? Anything worth pulling. That's a rip. We will go ahead and do a couple of these premium packs because, I mean, why not? We have them. We might as well do it. Skip this one. Got that jersey again and a couple of gold players, but not great. We'll do one more of those and then... I'm gonna be honest with you, we'll probably do one last of the 18K packs and call it a video, but maybe we get uh, lucky near the end of the video here. I mean, we've got nothing big, literally nothing big. I just wanna see an 84. I just want, you know what, I wanna see purple. Let's be honest, I wanna see purple. I ain't gonna see it in this pack, dear God. All right guys, the last pack of the video. Let's get something big, come on. Come on EA. Last pack of the video, I need something big. That we have a broken pack. Great to start. <laughs> we got the wrong Larkin. Good to see you, Brandon Sod. Don't be Sod 20 in the pack, but that's just not, you know, not quite what I'm looking for. Please. Team Italy. Ledoux. What? No, I don't want you. Dang. This last pack may have been the worst one yet. Of course, Lucic does have one of those cards, but we didn't pull him. Why would we, right? All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for the video. We got nothing in our packs today. We got absolutely destroyed, but that's okay. I did pull the Krejci earlier. I'll try and sell him, get a bunch of coins for him. We have some good players on the team. I can sell some stuff if I need to, but honestly, I'm not too concerned. I like the way the squad's looking. I like the way we're playing. We had a bad video for packs. It doesn't mean the next one's not going to be good. Let me know who you pull. Let me know who you want the most, and let me know what you think about this event as I truly do think this might be the coolest event we've ever had. Fantasy hockey event. I love it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.